Me again. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, nah, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Well, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I... Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows.
Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. That gal likes you. Almost got a pail full. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn That's our key. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. You almost got me. Look out. Look at this horse shit. And even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. Jack. Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too.
put some coffee on. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. Well, sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. <sighs> but I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. You gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Good. Okay. Fine. Well, that looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. Come on, son. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Oh, shit. I'll get him. I gotta build that. That's my friend. No. Oh. <laughs>
Like you're gonna wind down, <laughs> but I'll try. There, 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 there. You're an angry one. Whoa, there. Whoa, there. Easy, easy. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. We got a temper on you. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of Chuck. This way. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Well, <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. 
That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Relax. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. Ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. We're fine, ain't we? Easy there. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the crowd. Okay, okay. Stay strong. We're okay. There's a boy. Hey, boy. It's all right, ain't it? Good horse. Who's a good boy? Hey, fella. Good boy. Good lad. You're a good boy. Hey. Well, well. <sighs> You're okay. You're okay. Hey. It's all right. Easy. Easy now. Easy. There, there. Easy. You're okay. You're okay. There. How are you? You okay? We're okay. Hey, you. How about this? Ain't you a good horse? We're good, aren't we?
It's all right. Easy, easy there. 